Thank you guys. Awesome. Yoda. Hi, I'm Yoda. Trey with Fandango. Hey, how are you? From what I know about this film, I am so stoked. I mean, where did the idea come from? Because it's so different and unique. You know, it's an idea that I've been kicking around a long time. It started, the idea kind of got born out of the transitions, and it's impossible to describe until you sort of see what the transitions are. Sort of, the idea got born from the idea of going from, like, to escape the moment that you're in. How do you, how could you escape this moment that you're stuck in um, and still sort of fulfill the responsibilities of the moment? And that's kind of where the idea started, and then it's germinated and changed and grown over this long sort of eight-year period that we've been working on it. But... Um, you know, that's really where it, where it got born. And, and I think that in the movie, that sort of concept is sort of fleshed pretty hard, at, you know, into reality. It's a sexy idea in, in, a, in a way. You know, I'm just curious, is like, was it something that just came out of a dream? You saw something in a news article or? It kind of came from sort of a filmic, you know, for me it came sort of from a filmic, I was examining sort of in my mind just the sort of language that I've been using. You know, I was a commercial director for 15 years before I started making movies. So a lot, I had a lot of time shooting different sort of vignette scenarios. And, you know, there's a lot of compression of time and stuff that happens in commercials. And just some of those techniques started to make me think about like how you would sort of expand and stretch time, all those, that, that sort of psychological um, experiment that was going on. It, it became, you know, it had, to, it had to be done in reality. So that's kind of how, how it happened. Okay, last question. You guys have adapted a lot of graphic novels and comic books. This almost feels like it lends itself to, you know, you take the movie and, and turn it into a graphic novel. Have you ever thought about that? Absolutely. We talked about it, you know, and, it, and maybe it will appear that way, but it, uh, I mean, the cool thing about it was that it, it, it visually as a thing, you know, it could be a video game or it could be a, a, uh, an awesome comic book, and I think that's what is really interesting about it, that it doesn't exist in those ways. It, it allows the fan base to sort of now experience the movie. In a different the, way. And also for the first time when they see it, you know, yeah. like. We, we didn't want to do it ahead of time because we didn't want to spoil some of the surprises. Cause you're like, okay, if you expose the worlds in, in that depth, if it, it becomes a comic, then they know the story and then it's not as fun. Right. Cause there is a, like a, there is a twist, you know, so it's. Well, I'm stoked. I mean, I can't wait to see it. Congrats guys. Right. Really looking forward to it. Nice talking, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you.